Engineer mechanics by definition is a branch of physical sciences concerned with the state of bodies that are under the action of forces. So mechanics studies the state of bodies. Let's consider a body of mass M, say mass M, under the action of four forces that are of the same magnitude F and acting opposite to each other. So two forces acting along the x-axis of same magnitude F acting opposite to each other. Two forces acting along the y-axis of same magnitude F again and that two are acting opposite to each other. So in the force system you can see the forces along the x-axis cancel each other and the forces along the y-axis cancel each other. So the net force in the force system is zero. That is a condition for equilibrium of a body and therefore we can say this body is in an equilibrium state. Now let's assume we remove one force from this system. Now we have only three forces in the system and these two forces cancel each other and the resultant force in the body is the force that is acting along the positive y direction. And because there is a resultant force in the body, we can say the body is in a non-equilibrium state or it, it is not in an equilibrium. And this is the condition of state that we study in engineering mechanics condition of equilibrium or non-equilibrium. Going back to the definition, it studies the state of bodies. What kind of bodies that we deal in mechanics? Mechanics can be broadly classified into rigid body mechanics or deformable body mechanics. A rigid body mechanics is again classified into two, that of statics and dynamics. We mainly concentrate on the rigid body mechanics in these topics. So what is statics and dynamics? Statics deal with the state of bodies that are either at rest or in a uniform velocity motion. Whereas dynamics deals with the condition where there is an accelerated motion in the body. I'm sure you all must have studied the velocity and acceleration in the previous classes. Just to recapitulate your memory, by definition velocity is the rate of change of distance with respect to time. What is the rate of change here or how can you define, how can you understand rate of change? I'm sure this is a term that confuses most of the students. What is the rate of change? Let's consider you start to move from a point say A along a straight line. Assume in the first second you cover a distance of 1 meter. In the next second you cover another 1 meter. The third second you cover 1 more meter and in the fourth second you cover one more meter and so on. So if you consider the first four seconds, just for an example, you will cover four meter in the first four seconds and you will be four meter away from your origin. So in the figure you can see in each second 
you cover one meter this is the first second and this is another second this is another second this is another second so in each second you cover one meter and your distance increases by one meter from origin so in the first second it was one meter in the next second you are total two meter away from the origin and in the next second you are three meter away from the origin and so on so the rate of change in unit time here it is a second so the rate of change of distance in unit time is one meter here or in every second your distance changes by one meter so that's it we defined the rate of change of distance or velocity and in this case the velocity is one meter per second now what is acceleration then by definition acceleration is a rate of change of velocity with respect to time again let's consider we start to move from a point a along a straight line and in the first second you cover one meter in the next second you cover two meter let's make it a bit more clear in the next second you cover two meter and in the third second you cover three meter so even though the time interval remains same you are covering different distances here as you can see in the first second you cover one meter in the next second you cover two meter in the third second you cover three meter so at the end of the third second you will be six meters away from your origin but here you can see each second the distance you cover it changes between the first and second it increases from one to two between the second and third it increases from two to three and the rate of increase is one this one is increased to two two is increased to three so the rate of increase or rate of change of velocity is one here in each second your velocity is increased by one meter and that's it we defined acceleration as well so the rate of change that is happening to velocity is one meter here and therefore in this case the acceleration is one meter per second square you can see how the meter per second turned to meter per second square in acceleration in the subsequent in the in the, in the following classes so that's it we defined mechanics it's a branch of physical sciences concerned with the state of equilibrium or non equilibrium of bodies rigid body mechanics or deformable body mechanics rigid body mechanics is again classified into two that is statics and dynamics static deal with rest or uniform velocity motion and dynamics deal with accelerated motion so mechanics studies the state of bodies that are under the action of forces.